Well, I don't think I've been more proud at how a video has come out as I have as much as this one. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy this absolute roller coaster. Because if I didn't film this video, you would have never believed me if I told you about it. Please enjoy. Tell you what, though, you cannot tell me that this won't make a good video. Can't make it up. You cannot script it. You cannot write it. This is literally what has happened today in this event. It would be. This is better than if everything went smoothly and we were just riding around Croatia and having a great time. On the route? Till the end. 56. There's 56 to go from here. Yeah. Go big or go home. So, so, so you have no idea where you are then? Yeah. So you haven't seen a town, a town sign? Uh, they are entering the end. Well, it's the night before three, it all kicks off uh, and I thought it'd only be 3, fitting 000, to come down here and, 3, well, show you everything before it does actually start. So obviously all the work's been going on today to get stuff ready and uh, it's looking fab, it's looking well organised. It's an awesome place to come as well and start because it's right by the porridge old town. Uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I've come to pick the guys up who've been at the expo and uh, we're going to get carved up this evening. So uh, I had a couple of questions from people asking where specifically we have been staying uh, because there are a number of Valmar hotels. So this is the one we're staying at. I'm going to run 750 mil balls tomorrow because it's relatively warm here and I will probably get through a fair amount of liquid. And because of which I am going to be carrying some Sturka energy mix with me some of the 90 uh, i've got some solid food as well and i've got a banana but there's loads of feed stations tomorrow as you'll see so yeah and one that has some lovely truffle pasta that i had today that is uh, that is about it and oh i will probably film it all tomorrow on my phone and my gopro hero 9 it's uh, it's 8 p.m right now breakfast starts at four but we're, not, we're probably not going to eat until like half five six o'clock and then the start is at seven and uh, luckily enough we are vips so i uh, we get to go on the front row before we depart and then i see hope to see you again <laughs> <laughs> So as VIPs, we are slowly making our way somewhere to the front. No idea where that is. Must be near the front. <laughs> Alright, we're uh, a whole 1.1 kilometers in. We're going backwards. <laughs> we're going backwards. That's okay though. It's like a washing machine. Nobody else is doing the 300, see? That's why they're going off so just fast. Me, it's just me and Ed. Yeah. We buy our time. Well, starting at 7 a.m. is awesome because you get the sunrise and you get the changes in temperature. So far. Half an hour in, no carnage. 262 normalized power for half an hour. We won't maintain that for 10 hours. <laughs> Look at this ride food. Never seen that before in my life. <laughs> Maybe sponsored by Mentos. Anyway, little update. Uh, we have ticked off 45 minutes. 26k so 35k an hour 
we're in a small group of five now. Um, we're looking after each other because we want to get through this. Like, we want to enjoy the 300. We don't know how many people in the big group just ahead of us are obviously doing the full 300. And that's something that I learned in previous big rides like this in events, is that you can go off and chase the front, but you never know. <laughs> you know, you might get to that junction where everyone turns off and does a shorter loop and you're stuck on your own for the next 130k. So we're looking after each other, me and Aid, and uh, we just want to get through it. We want to enjoy the last 100k. We don't want to be sort of like fighting for time, if that makes sense, in the last 100k. We want to bank it early so we can cruise and enjoy. Oh yeah, and I've also picked up a mysterious rattle. I think it's my cassette. I think it's worked its way loose. And that's my, my fault because I have weedy little arms and I've probably not done it up tight enough. We've got some like one day classic style roads, really twisty through some villages. And then we've got these really nice wide roads which have put good tarmac on them and the lush to ride. Better do this while we're not like absolutely blown up of every hole. Um, we were saying, I think it was yesterday, how as competitive people, we might have, like we almost can't help ourselves. No. But I think we've done quite well this first, well, First 50k. We've got it's, 50k, it's, mate. Been, it's been easy for you, Ed, but for us older folk, it's been a bit of a sorry, Dad. Hour at 400 watts for me. Um, the other thing is as well, I'm a sticker for preparation, and unfortunately, I don't have the route map today, so I'm completely blind. But not as blind as Ed. He 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 told me I could just follow him, so. I've got my, uh... oh, oh flip, we're gonna crash. <laughs> yeah, I told you uh, you could follow me, but then I, then but what good is that if I don't know the way? So yeah, long story short, Edie doesn't have a bike computer at all. So I'm having to tell him how far we've gone. It's good like not even knowing, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I'm also in that situation today. Although at least I could tell him how many hours we've done and try and crack him when we've done like seven hours and 200 odd K. Oh, we've been averaging at least 50k an hour for the last like 10 minutes on this wonderful road and uh, we've got a huge group with us now i should probably mention as well that this event is fully closed roads so hats off to the organization and the police as well of course it takes a heck of a lot of work That reminded me of uh, my times in Asia. The sort of, you get these massive descents or climbs, and then it's like pan flat valley like this. It's just, I don't know. The weather's very similar as well. It's been like totally active, yeah. But then as everything was going so well, this happened. Stay blue if you want to do 230. Yeah, and then go black. Well, it depends if you want to do the 300. Doing it. Right. Right, okay. See you soon. Um, my, well, I'm out on the course and my, my cassette on my rear wheel has come loose and I need to tighten it because the wheel doesn't move. So, update, I'm 73 kilometers in. I'm surrounded by beautiful scenery, but my cassette has worked its way loose. And um, it's, uh, it's like totally jammed the wheel. So uh, the weird thing is, it was no sign of it doing that at all. And now it's literally just done it today. Like it started rattling and uh, yeah, 
how it's done it today. So there was no warning, which is a bit of a shame. Eddie's gone on ahead. Um, I don't know whether he's still going to do the 300. Time will tell. Uh, I was going to give him a GoPro, but he said he didn't want to hold my uh, my mouse mount, <laughs> uh, which is fair enough. Um, but I'm a bit gutted, if I'm honest. I don't know how long this neutral service is going to take to get you. Hopefully not too long, because uh, you never know. I may be able to, I may be able to catch him up. I mean, that would still make this video a decent video. So unfortunately, neutral service couldn't get to me, which was a little bit frustrating because that's all I needed was one little spanner to tighten up my cassette. One of those things, it's literally like a freak accident. I was kicking myself a little bit, as you can probably understand. But anyway, I made a new friend in the broom wagon driver. So he picked me up and we started following, you know, some of the riders on the course, which is, you know, a little bit of a shame because uh, it was some of the best scenery on this section of the course. I was a little bit disappointed, but I was also wondering how the heck am I going to save this video? But as luck would have it, as the broom wagon started to get busier, I found my saving grace. All right, you will not believe what has just happened. Um, I've spent the last three hours sat in the broom wagon. Uh, was joined by three individuals that I had to take a video of because I didn't think you'd believe it. We were literally crammed in there like sardines. Anyway, that's all I needed was a chain whip to tighten this cassette. We found one at this feed zone at about 150k in. Eddie, I've just called him, he's at 180k. I'll see if I can catch him. Oh yeah, now we feel like we've got a bit of a race on our hands. Adds a bit of excitement to the end of this video. So Eddie told me he's riding with four people at the minute currently. So at the minute it's four versus one. I know when Eddie's probably sat on not doing any work. Although Eddie's only got 120k to go, and I've got 150. Most of those k's now, instead of being done on like really sort of twisty lanes and you know up and down undulating, they're more like proper climbs, like you know. There's a good length on them, and then an equally good descent. So I'm gonna invest my energy in this chase wisely. <clears throat> it suddenly dawned on me that I don't think 80 is 30K or 35K ahead. He's more like 20 or 25 because I'm actually like in Montevon. When I spoke to him, he was nowhere near Montevon. He hadn't even got there yet, so. There is hope. No, Ed. No, there wasn't hope. You see, let me explain something that happened sort of off camera around about this moment. I, I had thought that at this moment in time, I had been following the 300 kilometer course, which is obviously what AD was doing. However, when I got to this point on the route, I realized because I'd ridden this road prior to the event, that I was only about 60 kilometers from the finish. But in total, I had only ridden about 170 kilometers. So I thought to myself, I can't be, I can't be on the 300 kilometer route, or I must have missed the turning for the 300 kilometer extra loop. So it turns out that I've taken a massive shortcut and AD was now somewhere on the 300 kilometer extra loop on his own without me and probably suffering. I'm gonna try and call AD again. There was no reply. No, wait a minute. It's just dawned on me. They did an extra loop, didn't they? he's doing a 300. So if he's 180k in, to this, oh my word, he's, he must be behind me then. I won't just rest, so I've been battering myself for nothing. I need to stop and work this out. Luckily there's a feed zone here at the top of Rubber Dye with a mega view. On the route. 
till the end. 56. It's 56 to go from here. Yeah. Go big or go home. Here it is. Take one of these. I will give you two of these. Two of these. Go big or go home. Thank you. So it's only 56k to go. 56. You want another one? So do I need all of this? Uh, you want more? No, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. 25% for that. 10k. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so, so, so you have no idea where you are then? <sighs> nah. So you, you haven't seen a town, a town sign. Uh, a town sign. I'm trying to keep you company. Yeah. Well, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll wait. Just see. I'll. <laughs> Some going up here. I need both hands. Okay, I'll wait here. I'll wait here. But when you get to me, it's 50k to go, so you'll be alright. Yeah, I'm not... all right, dude. See you soon. <laughs> Catch you. <laughs> <laughs> like it's shell now. I'm alright, eh? Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Tell you what, though, you cannot tell me that this won't make a good video. Like, can't make it up. You cannot script it. You cannot write it. This is literally what has happened today in this event. It would be, this is better than if everything went smoothly and we were just riding around Croatia and having a great time. Wait, 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 it's him, it's him. I think it is, I think it's him. Oh, fair play, man. Fair play. Anyway, it's nice to have you back. Reu nice to be back, Ed. Reunited. Thanks for leaving me all on my own for 250, 250 kilometers. What's a cat? Also, with all my navigational systems on my bike, I've basically spent the. I even had to ask a guy. I've said, I'm really sorry. I don't. I'm sorry. I've got to ask, but which which arrows do I follow? <laughs> I just thought it was rather fitting that like. We do the first 50 or 60k together, then we do the last what? 50k together. Yeah, so like make me ride at 400 watts for two hours and <laughs> fake a mechanical and then come back with 50k to go when I'm absolutely swinging. Because I've just been on my own. Should we do 400 watts again? 200k. For the final two hours. What did you say this this area reminded you of? Uh, what Provence. Did you, Provence? Yeah. Only 15k from getting back to the town and uh, we've uh, just exited Novigrad. We have a beautiful sunset to occupy us, but uh, it's tough. Well, not for me, but yeah. It's tough for a lot of people because the cutoff, so basically it's 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., give or take. So 12 hours to do 300K and five and a half thousand meters of elevation. Eddie's probably only just about gonna do it. And that's with, what, very little stuff. You've hardly stopped today, yeah. you said. Well, the mechanical you, the longest stop of that, right? which is like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So we will probably get there with half an hour to spare. So 6 p.m. now, and we're treated with the most wonderful arena to ride back into Porridge. It's timed well, I must say. Three k to go and you get a build like that. What a way to make it finish. <laughs> 